school following the court order that barred the teacher's strike that was set to begin yesterday. Lamas trickled into their various schools this morning as a school's first term begins. And our reporters, George Maringa and Kevin Ogutu, will be telling us how the first day of the first term has been for both learners and teachers. All right, let's just cross over to Kevin Ogutu first of all. Happy New Year. Now, we just want to take a look at what is happening at Joel Omino Secondary School in Kisumu County, where Kevin Ogutu, has just mentioned, is standing by, set to join us, and perhaps tell us how learning is resuming and if it is regular reporting activities at the school or not. Over to you, Kevin Ogutu. A very good afternoon, Jesse. Quite a hot afternoon in the Lakeside city of Kisumu. I'm coming to you right from Joel Omino Secondary School. And uh, the effect of the deliberation that have been there and the uh, strike threat by the NAT was evident right from the Kisumu bus park where I was in the morning. Not really very many parents and uh, students were traveling. And right here at Joel Omino Secondary School, though I have the heritage around, it is evident that... Uh, not the, not anything near 90% of, of, of the student population have actually reported today, uh, today being the official opening day. So uh, he will be giving us uh, the details about how this first day has been, given that he is the CEO of this particular institution. Welcome to KTN News Desk, uh, Mr. Richard. Uh, we are talking about the first day of the opening. How many students uh, have, have come so far? Uh, today we already have 175 students who have reported which is uh, almost the half of uh, the number that we are supposed to be having but uh, we understand they are just from the holiday and being that today is a Thursday uh, somehow some thought uh, of maybe coming later okay so we can attribute this to the holiday or maybe the, the strike threat that was there though by yesterday evening it was clear the schools were supposed to open today uh, there are many factors among them you have mentioned, but uh, holiday could as well affect them. Uh, now that they are just from first of uh, the new year they have celebrated, uh, they could have uh, relaxed. That's what I cause uh, some not to uh, report. And also maybe some uh, had traveled with their families and now the means is also another challenge of reaching. I've just had you mention that at the bus park there was a hitch of the transport. So that could also cause a uh, slow turn up. Just for the sake of, of our viewers, you said that we have less than the entire student population that, are that have reported so far today. Yes, they are less than uh, uh, the total number of students who are supposed to report today. Uh, uh, that is what we have. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Richard Nyayal, who is the principal of Joel Omino Secondary School. And uh, uh, as I mentioned, Jesse, it's quite clear that uh, it will not be possible to have the entire uh, population uh, reporting to school today. But uh, he also informed me that uh, learning has just kicked off, and uh, those who are already in, they are continuing getting instruction uh, from their teachers. Back to in studio, Jesse. Thanks, Kevin Ugutu. Now, from the Lakeside City to Meru County, where George Maringa is engaging Judith Ntombari, the head teacher of Meru Primary School. Um, now, Maringa, what, are the f what is the first day like um, for the first term um, in Meru? Good afternoon, Jesse. Now, we are at the Meru Primary School where the pupils and the teachers have reported, and we shortly, as you have said, we'll be engaging the head teacher. But uh, as you can see to my right, just to give you a clear picture, the kids, of course, excited that we are here and they've come to, uh, you know, just showing that they are here in their full numbers. And this being their reporting date, they are also excited after such a long holiday and having to enjoy Christmas and the New Year festivities also starting all the way from Jamhuri, Christmas and New Year. And some of them even celebrated their birthdays over the festive season. And you can see there, the face is so bright and eager to resume the first term in their respective classes. Now, Meru Primary School, of course, is at the heart of Meru Town in Meru County. And for more perspective and details on how the situation is and how reporting has been, we are engaging the head teacher of uh, this school, that is Ms. Judith, Judith Ntombari, to just give us a deeper perspective. And thank you very much for joining us on KTN News. Now, at what time did the children start reporting to school today? 
They came here at the seven thirty. Then the assembly started at eight. After the assembly, the school routine carried the day. So, because all the teachers and reporters, so they went into their respective classes, and I think we end a very wonderful day in the morning section, and because everybody turned up. Yeah. And, um, you know, there are those who had traveled far and wide to visit their relatives. What is the uh, actual percentage of those who have reported? Is it 100% report or half? 80% reported. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, having spoken to the parents, did they tell you of probably bad behavior during the holidays or how did their kids behave while they were at home for the holidays? We are yet to have a parents meeting soon. So right now it's just receiving pupils. That is what we did in the morning. Then after maybe to, today and tomorrow, we are going to have a parents meeting next week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, how was the performance of KCP? I think the performance was very good. We feel encouraged and very happy, happy because we had four pupils who are selected in the national school. Uh, the first one had four, four and one marks. That one was selected at male, male school. The second one and uh, 388, and he was selected at Moy Biloli High School at Embu. The next one was and, uh, 383. He was also selected at St. Patrick Iten, I think in Kericho. The other one was selected at Marare High School. Yeah. Those others were taken to Nkobo High. We had two at Nkobo High School and one at Kagagaus. And then those others went to county schools. The results were good, not to Meridika with the results. And we are looking forward to a better, better, we are looking forward for better things this time. Yeah, yeah, we are going to do better than what we did last, uh, last year when we end our staff meeting. Yeah. And uh, could you just give us your thoughts, or we'd like to pick your mind on the new curriculum, what's your perspective about it? And, you know, it was also, you know, put on a hold for a while. How had you been picking it up before the postponement was made? We had mixed feelings, but at the end of it, after Amina talked, I think we are ready for everything, because we know us from class four to class eight, they're in the whole system. With the lower classes, the teachers were well prepared and we are set for that. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. And uh, the deputy has actually just joined us, Jesse, and just I'll pick his thoughts on a few things which include performance and general behavior of students. I first tell us your name, sir. My name is Lawrence Kaimeni. I'm the deputy and the teacher, Meru Primary School. I'm happy that we resumed the school today. We opened it today after a long holiday where my learners, pupils have relaxed enough and we can see that they are set for the new term and the new year, which we are going to start at a very high level. Uh -huh. yeah. Thank you very much. Watoto, good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Um, thank you very much. Uh, to answer now, tell us your name and uh, which class are you in? My name is Melvin Mwenda. I am in class five. Uh -huh. What would you like to be when you finish school? A lawyer. Oh, yeah, fantastic. And uh, just let me speak to one more little girl here. Tambia Jinalaka, what's your name? Brenda Kirote. Uh -huh. You're in what class? Two. Uh -huh. And uh, how do you think you'll perform in this first term of the year? Shai, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, just one more here. Just come, Tambia Jinalaka, Toto. My name is Natasha Kazambi. I'm in class two. Uh -huh. What would you like to be when you finish school? I want to be an engineer. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I, I... You love to be an engineer. Thank you very much. Uh, Jesse, those are just some of the pupils and of course teachers, the head teacher and the deputy just giving us perspective of how the situation has been here at the Meru Primary School. 80% have reported and they are excited to join the first term of the year 2019 and as the head teacher has assured or has expressed her optimism is that optimism is that they will be able to record even better results in this year's KCPE. This is the situation at the Meru Primary School. For now I'll hand back to you in studio, Jesse.